out there were dying. And the mother to be, Duchess of Cambridge, plans to spend the day out of the public eye on her birthday. NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. Is that fucking hand pass? Little microphone problem. You couldn't tell. <laughs> we're subtle. Guys, all right. I guess the weather's celebrating Kate's yeah, birthday. Exactly. Do you ever notice it's always beautiful in London when Michelle's <laughs> there? We go over there. She's like oh, a chamber yeah. of commerce yeah. for London. Yeah. Exactly. We're actually in a studio. That's a green screen. Back Joker and Natalie Morales, and just ahead, we will ask the age-old question: Who is the top dog among us? Well, we'll ask it to a very qualified guy, Cesar Milan. Okay. Also coming up, uh, I'm not channeling Huda and Kathy Lee here. Or maybe yesterday is the cast. Yeah, that works very it well. Very nice. It holds and it's steady. Very nice. Right and then Martha Stewart is in the house. She is going to help us be healthy for 2013. She's got some hearty and healthy recipes that happen to also be meatless, but yet very satisfying. All right. All right. And we want to remind you: don't forget to cast your vote for Savannah's Big Hollywood Adventure. Look forward to that. Get your votes in early and often. Yes. How about a check of the weather? Alrighty, let's see what we've got for you. See you today. We're posting. You shifting? Not yet. <laughs> Just we give me a it's coming. Minutes. It's coming. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Yeah. I'm Savannah Guthrie alongside Willie Geist, Al Roker, Natalie Morales, and Ease Jason Kennedy is here again for Take Three. Hello. Hi. Good to have you back. back. Also, coming up in this hour, five relationship intimacy. Also, I had some parenting trends for the new year. Yes, parents. You have bow and arrow with the kids? What is that? <laughs> this is a tease, Al. Stay with me here. Oh, Survival wow. of the fittest Wait, and breakfast. this is the best tease yet. And, and, the other part. and a 50 Shades of Grey baby boom. Hello. Wow. So a lot to talk about I'm there. I'm at the end of my rope on that one. Uh, plus, <laughs> one baby that's already getting a lot of attention. Cross the pond. All right, but first, let's get straight to first take. I want to point something out, Al. I was hosting a fundraiser last night for Maloto, this oh, group yes. uh, that does work with children in Malawi and women in Malawi as well. Meredith oh, Brokaw is affiliated, had a bunch of us involved. There was a live auction item called Do the Weather with her into the auctioneer's ear. I say, throw in a closed mouth kiss with Al Roker <laughs> to, to a handsome gentleman right, right up front. I knew it. Yeah. So have fun with that, Al. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's a great group and you, you drew a big number. It's terrific. Big well, and, and Meredith has done an amazing job with she this organization. Yeah. Yeah. She really has. It's great. All right. All right, yeah. take Anything one. Anything for a good cause. Yeah, that's right. Close mouth kiss to a flu outbreak. <laughs> yeah. Right to the flu outbreak. The worst in Not 10 years, according to experts, reported in 41 states. In New York, like 15,000 wow. cases. Kids, teens, obviously elderly are the most. And uh, these trauma, uh, the, the emergency room just packed with people, stacked, right. waiting to I get in. Like some of them with a tent outside. Yeah, they were outside in the parking yeah. lot. And some of, them, some of the emergency rooms have closed the to flu, new flu cases right. and are sending them out to other places. And, we, and there is still time, we should point out, to get a flu shot, as doctors right. are saying, and they're encouraging people to get out there and do that now. So, and in fact, I have an appointment right after the show to go funny. do that. It's funny, I was going to make so, an appointment today, yeah. so I've been feeling I mean, guilty yes, ever since we all had this close. Women do everything together. Yes, <laughs> I know. We'll go together. Let's go have a yeah. flu shot. Flu shot yeah. date. But I know there's this Facebook app online, because I don't that, want to be near that. That's right. a good point, though, because so many people come in, they're hacking, they're just like, stay home. We're all guilty. We've all done it. We're like, eh, <laughs> I never call it. Some of us have come yeah. in oh, with no voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Oh. Oh. Mr. Oh. <laughs> the great thing about Just this app is it says it lets you blame somebody, and that feels good. We like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah right when someone walks in, Herbert's sick again. Yes. Yeah. Okay, exactly. spotlight on the guy. All right, our take two, just how unpopular is Congress at this point? A new public policy polling survey shows Congress less popular <laughs> Then the following, colonoscopy numbers on cockroaches, 45%. People, hey. people like, like a cockroach? cockroach? Yes. No, yes, cockroaches are voting. Who got an app? I don't the understand. Cockroach lobby. <laughs> Who put this list together? They put Nickelback on there, Meth Labs, Lindsay yeah. Lohan. The yeah. Yeah. Very virus. yeah, the Kardashians were the on there. The thing is, Congress has a higher approval rating than the Kardashians, Lindsay Lohan. That's true. And, and okay. Meth Labs. And Meth Labs. Meth Labs. Right. Wow. And, this <laughs> yeah. and cockroaches were on your trail. Right. Right PPP is known to do these kind of fun, exotic polls. Some people have <laughs> criticized it, but they've made their point. Congress apparently is very unpopular. Nine percent. Nine percent was the number. Uh, number three, our take three, Kim Kardashian versus Duchess Kate. So these are obviously the two most famous pregnant women on the face of the earth. And apparently some people are saying the style of Kim Kardashian is well, resonates more with women than that of... Well, I would say open... 
clothing and now, very revealing. Today.com, our Today.com poll, though, has Kate beating Kim. Interesting. 93 to 7%. I'm kind mm -hmm. of surprised by that because I thought every time Kate Middleton wears anything, it flies off the shelves right. and she was like this fashion inspiration. They Plus, were saying, though, that she wears things from past seasons, so when people go to the stores, it's been sold out already, yeah. so they uh, can't mm. get it anymore. So that was kind of one of the main so issues. She, so maybe that's also, you know, she, I mean, it's a bonus for everybody who sure. wants to afford and go buy what, what Kate because Middleton is wearing. Let's face it, how much how much can the average person afford to buy what Kim Kardashian is wearing? Exactly, exactly. But and she's happy have birthday, 31st birthday for her. First she's going to have the Kate custom Middleton. back on yeah. the pants, which ah, a lot of us can't. The baby got back <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. All right, let's do our bonus take. This is the beard ski. I think we're going to make our way this. down here. Mm. This is an actual thing, uh, we should point out, <laughs> to be worn. So we've got a new way of booking the show. That's out. right. People show up at the window. If you're a celebrity from now on, just show up at the window. We'll bring you and in. we'll put you on the show. It's absolutely yes, this is America. The great Laura Dern. This is what you need. Just stand out there, and you will end up coming. <laughs> With a handmade sign, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. It has to be thin, sharp. That's right. Because nobody could read it. That's exactly. Right. So then it's too promotional. Second season of Enlightened starting Sunday, 9:30. Our our senior producer Debbie Kosofsky, huge fan. Natalie is a huge fan. And, and you won the Golden Globe last year for your role. Yes. Yeah. So that's, I got exciting. to know that. Yeah, I know. That it's so great. So what is it like when you've got a show like that that people are so passionate about? Well, it's incredibly exciting, particularly because everyone keeps saying, you know, we don't know what she's going to do next, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Very cool. And we should point out, you join a list that includes James Brown, yes. you said, Shaquille yes. O'Neal, and, and George Clinton, yep. it's who sort showed of up at the window and put themselves and in the Laura show. Dern, like and that, Laura Dern, you fit that, right in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, that's you know, I had perfect. to do it. Yeah. 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 Which of these things is not like the other? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, Enlightenment Sunday nights. Sunday nights, 9.30. HBO. 9 Laura yeah. Dern. You great guys, to see you. So great to see you guys. I know. I'm so happy to see you. Let's send it over to Natalie. On today. So you gotta get that on camera. Do it again. <laughs> okay, <I> love... <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it was a boy and they named him Bluto? <laughs> No. Oh, okay. That's a terrible idea. I'm Al Roker along with Natalie Morales and Willie Geis. Well, speaking of Kate, of course, it is a big day for the Duchess of Cambridge. And she might be interested in some parenting trends for 2013. Turns out showers are out. What? And these things hmm. called sip and seas. You know, the old sip and see back in. We'll check out some of the other. <laughs> Not that brand of archery per se. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, Magnetic bow and arrow. Okay. And in today's kitchen.